LDBC. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. Go live, live, live on the Coach Shelton Harrison Boxing and MMA Show Live. Okay, guys, I got to get this in before I go deal with some of my children because they need me today, so I got to be with them. All right, folks, so you knew that I was not going to shut up about this, okay? I mean, you guys knew. I, I wouldn't. I, this was coming out. So let me go ahead and just repeat what Carl Frotch said, okay? And I'm a speed reader, so you guys can, you know, I know y'all want to try to copy the coach and try to speed read like the coach can, but, uh, you know, hey, everybody can't do it. Okay, so this is what Carl Frost said about Gennady Golovkin, okay? Here goes. As a boxing purist, I think he's a great fighter. In the amateurs, he's shown that the people that he's beaten have gone on to do things in a professional game. He's proven that he's of a quality, which is a certain quality, a high quality, but on top, amateurs make top pros, Frost said. Uh-oh, what is he trying to say here? So now for him to get that respect, and not just from fighters like me, but from fighters like me, critics within the boxing fraternity, and there are lots of critics out there who are there to criticize whether it's constructive or negative. It's difficult to talk Triple G and put him up there with the elite best and say that he is a Hall of Famer. That's what I've been trying to tell y'all. Purely because he's got no names that stand out on his record that he's beaten. There is nobody there. This quote, end quote, Carl Frotch. <laughs> <laughs> Are y'all going to explain this one? <laughs> okay. I got to pull it together. I got to pull it together for this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to pull it together. Okay, I'm going to stop. I know y'all not going to like this. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. Uh, is Carl Frost race baiting? <laughs> oh, man. What y'all got to say about Carl Frost? And, and you know what? The comment section is wide open. Come get it. <laughs> Come get it. I got to hear what y'all got to say about Carl Project. I got to hear this. But I, let me try to take a guess what people are going to say. Let me take a guess. Okay. Oh, man. Well, Carl Frotch was afraid of Gennady Golovkin. <laughs> he tried to make the man. He tried to make him come back to, what, 100 and, what 60 pounds, and then he said he'd fight him at 170 pounds. Carl Frotch been retired. And Carl Frotch already said that his walking around weight is about 190 pounds. He's still in good shape, but, you know, he was saying, man, look, I can't get down to that. And, you know, he, he don't even want to fight. As a matter of fact, they try, you know, they offered a retired guy a fight. Stop it. You guys ain't got a pot to piss in on this one. I'm sorry. What can you say about Carl Frotch? I mean, Carl Frotch clearly, clearly is a good fighter. And many of you guys support Carl Frotch. Many of you do. <laughs> Oh, man. I mean, Carl Frost said it. So for now, for him to get that respect, and not just from fighters like me, but from fighters like me, critics within the boxing fraternity, and there's lots of critics out there. Yeah, guys like me, I'm a critic too. Who, who are there to criticize whether it's constructive or negative? It's difficult to talk Triple G and put him up there with the elite, the best of the best, and say that he is a Hall of Famer. God, that's what I've been saying for three years. Purely because he's got no names that stand out on his record that he's beaten, there is nobody there. Now, we're going to start the narrative of people that don't want to fight him. Let's start that narrative, okay? Now, Laura said he wanted to fight, and I know people, man, Laura, he was just BSing. How y'all know? Are y'all inside Team Laura's camp? Why y'all don't believe Laura? I believe Laura. I believe everything Laura says. Laura said he wanted to fight Gennady Golovkin, God dog, and I believe my brother, Iris Landy Laura. I believe him. <laughs> uh, and then you got Canelo. Did y'all forget about that $15 million? Look, man, this guy been fighting bums. Put it out there. The best guy on this guy's resume is a welterweight. It is a welterweight. He fought the welterweight that lumped him up. Let me show you guys something. And I'm going to show you something right now. Because if you get... The 160-pound version of Kell Brook, okay, let me show you something. Because a welterweight did this to your hero, a welterweight. Now, you take a look at this. You take a look. 
A welterweight lumped him up. This is right after the Kell Brook fight. A welterweight did this to him. How you guys going to explain this? If this was a 160-pound version of the same man with the same skills as Kell Brook, your boy Triple G would have bit on the canvas. You know and I know. We all know. But let's get back to the video. Now, <laughs> the best person on his resume is a welterweight. How y'all going to explain that? You see, you guys are not going to Rubio and Willie Monroe and Gabe Rosado your asses out of this one. Y'all not going to do it. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. You see, whether you like it or don't like it, you sit down and you listen. You listen to what the coach is saying because the coach been telling y'all for years and years and years that this guy Triple G and Tom Loeffler, they are playing y'all because Triple G trying to get all the money he can without getting hurt and he going to get out the game. He going to go back to his native country of Pakistan and he's going to live like a king over there. Now he going he gonna to look back in the mirror of all you guys that run and roll with GGG. He's going to look back and say, these were a bunch of fools. I played them. I made as much money as I can in the game. I got out the game, and now I'm living like a king. That's what he going to do. I'm trying to tell y'all. The time clock for Triple G is ticking, y'all. Tick-tock. 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 It's ticking. And it's like, yeah, so he fighting Jacobs. Now, he beat Jacobs. I'm going to give him full credit for that one. I can't come on here as a boxing fan and say, that Triple G's still a bum killer after he beat, I, I just can't do it. Because Jacob's not a bum, I cannot say that. Okay, I have to come on here and I have to make a video. And I got to give GGG his props for beating Jacob's. I, I, I'll give you guys that. But for the most part, I got to agree with Carl Frotch. I mean, I got to. Now, I don't agree with his assessment of War because War beat the hell out of him. But I don't, I, but that, that, that's something else for something else. Okay? <laughs> oh man how you gonna explain this I need to make a song called how you gonna explain this I, I do but you know what <laughs> I'm gonna leave y'all with a little gift from the coach I'm gonna leave y'all with a gift and I know you guys gonna like this it's one of my all time favorite coach Shelton Harrison songs okay and do me a favor. When you're listening to this song, I want you to sing along. Sing along to the song. Okay? Here's the song. Hey, guys, this is your boy, Coach Shelton Harrison. Enjoy the surprise. I'm done. How you going to explain this? How's he going to explain? 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 Please explain. Just explain. Please explain. Please explain. Just explain, just explain, please explain, explain yourself. Just explain. Yo, who's a dumb bum? What's a dumb bum? Kathy, Michael, Oscar, Eddie, Tom, and Bobby, Ever. Fighting you at Junior Triple G got fear. Get all that power now, listen here. G, the Triple G, guess not a superstar. Look at his resume, it ain't never been on par. Gage, Willie, Way, Chump, and Puff. Give us a good fight, so you give us what we want. Can I hear a hey? I see a ho. Billy ho. Canel ho, fighting is creative, coach is innovative, I'm just speaking the truth, and no, I'm not a hater, there are fighters in the middle, fighters that are best, why not step it up and put your kin to the test, yes, which way, duck him, how, look at your resume because you're not the cash cow, still ducking Laura, somebody you'll ignore or stay a hype job once more, can you explain this, can you explain that, can you explain this, can you explain that, can you explain this, can you explain that, I think I can explain this because you can't explain that, can you explain this? Can you explain that? Can you explain this? Can you explain that? Can you explain this? Can you explain that? I think I can explain this because I know you can't explain that. <laughs> How you going to explain this?